Hi, Tigers and Dragons. Master C here. Got another great class for you guys. I know uh, we've been having some really great camps this week. It's been so great to see people again. Um, so we've been working on some hand techniques. And so I want to give you guys some of the same things you could be working on at home. Okay. So let's go ahead and bow into our class and we'll make the magic happen. So you guys can repeat after me. Say feet together. Feet together. Hands by your side. Hands by your side. Eyes straight ahead. Eyes straight ahead. And bow. And bow. Good. Turn and face the flags. Right hand over your heart. Cookie bare. Cookie bare. Paro. Paro. Good. Face the faces of the Grand Masters. Kanjan in. Chariot. Chariot. Kunyet. Kunyet. Face this way. Chariot. Chariot. Kunyet. Good. Now, before we go into the warm up, I have a cow joke for you. The question is what do you call your cow? When they're misbehaving. You'll find out at the end. Okay. Now our warm-up for today is gonna be a hop hands warm-up. Alright, so we're gonna be moving forward with lots of different techniques. We're gonna go through a bunch of them and we're really gonna be focusing on our loads for these. It should be great. We'll mix in some exercises. So you'll see that I'll be hopping forward several times and then I'll shuffle back. If you need to shuffle back before I do, that is a-okay. So Starting off in our horse stance, guys. So knees are bent, feet are apart. Everything's looking pretty good. First technique is gonna be a punch, okay? So I've got my thumb wrapped around two fingers, sticking that punch straight out. Every time I jump forward, I'm gonna switch my hands. So you guys should stay with me. Ready, and hop. Good, I like it, I like it. Ready, hop. Good, the goal is to try to make sure that, that punch Comes out at exactly the same time your feet hit the floor. Ready? Four. Nice one. One more, guys. One more. I think I got space for that. Ready? Yeah. Good. Shuffle back, 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 back. Punch, not too bad. Next one is going to be a low block. So go ahead and get into that horse stance, guys. Take your hands on this side, load it up by your opposite ear. Good. Now, when we hop forward, we're going to extend out with our low block. Ready? Boom. Nice. Good. Repeat after me. Say load. Good. We got the hand loaded up. Jump and low block. Nice. Ready? Say load. And a low block. One more, guys. Ready? Load. Hand up by the ear. This hand that we loaded, that's the one that's going to do the low block. Boom. Beautiful. Back, 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 back. Good. Next technique. Are you ready for it? It's gonna be a palm strike. We're in our horse stance. Take your hand on this side, stick it out for palm. Remember, fingers together, thumb by the side. The trick with palm strikes starts closed. As it comes out, it opens. So you don't just keep your hands open the whole time. Every time I key up, we're gonna hop forward with a palm. Good. Nice. One more. Great job. Next technique. We're going to do a high block. High block. Big horse stance, guys. Go ahead and get this hand on the side in a high block position. Now, you know how high blocks load. You're going to take your chamber hand and load at the opposite hip. You guys know it. When I key out, we're going to jump forward and switch our hands. Ready? Nice. Everybody say, load. Good. Nice one. Load. One more. Load. Good. So we did punches. We did low blocks. We did palm strikes. We did high blocks. Up next, we got inside blocks. Big horse stance. Take your hand on this side. Inside block. Inside blocks load just like high blocks. So take your chamber hand, load at the opposite hip. On my key up, you're gonna jump and do that inside block. Ready? Good. Load. 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 One more. Load. 
Good job. Bam, 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 bam. Next technique, we got two more, three more. We're gonna do an outside block. So instead of coming this way, it's coming this way. Big horse dance, take your hand on this side for outside. Our load, take your hand, loads by the same side here. So not the opposite side, the same side. On my key up, you're gonna jump and do your outside block. Ugh! Good one, load. Same side here. Uh, load. Uh, good. Load. Uh, one more. Load. Uh, good. Back, 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 back. Next technique is going to be an elbow strike. All right, this is kind of a sneaky one. So get in your horse stance. Raise up the hand on this side, say raise. Say grab, say elbow. Good. Ready, raise, grab. Now when I key up, you're gonna hop into your elbow. Good, say raise. Grab. Good, raise, grab. Raise. Grab. Uh, good job. Bang, 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 bang. Last technique is going to be downward hammer. Big horse stance. Take your hand on this side, raise it up over your head, straight down. Ready? Other hand, raise. On my key up, we're going to jump and do our hammer. Uh, boom. Good. Raise it up. Uh, boom. Raise it up. Good, two more. Raise it up. Uh. Raise it up, last one. Uh. Boom. Great job, guys. Shut up. Couldn't yet. Excellent work. Go grab yourselves a quick sip of water. Come on back and we'll get a stretch. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get a little stretch going on here. So put your hands on your hips and hip circles. Good, other way. Again, it's been pretty fun having these camps. Looking forward to seeing some of you guys there too. But remember, you can still do Zoom calls with us and uh, submit Stripe test videos, so it should be awesome. Stick your arms out of the sides, arm circles backwards. And forwards. Back and forth across your chest. Link your hands together, trunk twist. Hands on your hips, head side to side. Looking left and right. And up and down. Good. Spread your feet out to the sides. Lean forward. Put one hand on each foot. And you guys can repeat after me and say, Hana! Hana! Tu! Tu! Se! Se! Ne! Ne! Tasse! Tasse! Yase! Yase! Ilga! Ilga! Yuro! Yuro! Aho! Aho! Yo! Very nice, guys. Very nice. Face right up here. Chidiot. Cunyat. Grab yourselves one more sip of water and you're gonna need something kind of soft, like a like a soft ball or like a rolled up sock or maybe a friendly, willing uh, stuffed animal friend. Okay? I'll see you right back here in a second. Alright guys. Our goal for today is to use these to enhance our techniques. So for this first round, your job is to throw the ball up in the air and we're gonna start with punches, okay? When you throw it up in the air, I wanna see if you can hit it with each hand three times. Not all in one shot, but something kind of like this. So I'm gonna throw the ball up. I'm gonna do, do my three punches with my right hand first. So I'm gonna throw it up, 
one. Good. I will go get it. Throw it up again. Two. One more time. And three. That's three times for one hand. Now I would try three times with the other hand. My left hand. Throw it up. One. And so on. So this first round, we're gonna work on our punches and our palm strikes. So you're gonna do three punches with each hand and three palm strikes with each hand. So work that out guys for a couple minutes. I'll put up a picture that you can pause and I'll see you right back here for round number two. All right guys, next round, we're gonna be working on high blocks and inside blocks. This is not easy, but both of these load at the opposite hip. All right, so I'm doing my high blocks. Again, I'm gonna throw with one hand, I'll load with the other one and try to block. So I need to throw the ball up, boom, and get under it so I can block with my arm. That's one, try it again, toss, good load, boom. Block, that's two, and again, I would do that three times with each hand. The other technique I wanna try this time is inside block. Loads the opposite hip, comes across. So I'm gonna throw with one hand, load, and try to block it with the other one. Toss it up, one, oh. Ready, two, oh, I hit it far this time. And so on, right? So for this round, you're gonna do three with each hand on your high blocks and your inside blocks. You can do it, guys. So pause on this next still shot, and I'll see you right back here for round number three. All right, guys, final round. We're gonna be working our outside blocks and our downward hammers, right? These will be tricky. So for this outside block, I'm gonna load by the same side here, throwing it up, I'm coming across, trying to strike with my wrist. So here's what that might look like. Throwing it up, bah, and blocking across. Not too bad. Just like before, my goal would be to do three of these on each side, okay? The next one, which is our last technique, is a downward hammer. Now, downward hammer is usually pretty easy for students and it's super powerful. But because the ball's coming down and I'm swinging down, I'm gonna have to be pretty fast to catch it at the right time, right? So we'll see if I can give it a shot here. Tossing it up, boom, ah! Ideally, I would hit it straight down just like that. Trying it again, toss it up, boom. That's what I wanna try to do, right? Again, I'm not like just teeing it in my hand and hitting it down. I'm trying to catch it in the air just a little bit, boom, and striking down. So enjoy that, guys. We'll come right back in a second and uh, I'll tell you the answer to that cow joke, okay? Good, hope you had fun with that class today, guys. It's a definitely a good one. I like always any games that I can incorporate the dodgeballs into. Now, let's get to that cow joke before we finish out. It was, what do you call your cow when they're misbehaving? You call them anything you want, it's your cow. You didn't like that joke? No. Oh, well, you know, it's kind of like a joke of a joke. So, all right, love you guys. Thanks for training. Keep working hard, and we'll see you in camp soon.